So once you've heard to the door, turn left and you can search the refrigerator. After you've searched that, head into this room and you can search the corpse. Opposite the corpse is a wall which you can break down. Past the wall inside this room is a gear puzzle. If you complete the puzzle you will be given a gun, so I would think it's worth doing. Once you've got the gun, head back through the wall, and then you can go down this hallway. As you turn left, at the end of the hallway you will see Pighead, and some TVs will turn on. How do I get out? What are the rules? Did you think your test was going to be that easy? No, I, I didn't mean to offend. There are people here that are more interested in finding me than freeing you. Can you convince them that your life is worth saving? This isn't what I wanted! After that, the gate will open. So head into this room, and you can search two lockers. As you walk down these steps, you will come to another door. It's on a timed lock, so just wait for it to open. Never enough time to do the we Okay, so for this, you will have to complete the two circuit puzzles in time to open the exit door. So head down here and you will have to find a way to turn off the steam. So take the coupler from this locker and then you can turn the valve to shut off the steam. Once you shut off the steam head back over here and you can complete the circuit box. So now you will have to complete the other circuit box which is on the other side of the room. Be careful of the tripwire in front of you by here. Watch your step, detective. Once you've disarmed the tripwire, search all of the lockers until you find the coupler. So once you found the coupler, head to the back of this part of the room and you can complete the circuit box. So once you've completed that circuit box, the door will open. So all you gotta do now is leave the room before the bombs detonate. If you turn left in here you will see Pighead. So if you head back over here the TVs will turn on. Please, please, I want another test. I want the pain. I don't care how much. Pain would be easy for you, Obi. What I offer is something more. I offer a chance at humanity. Yes, yes. <laughs> I understand. So head through this door and you will be facing the same situation as last time. You will have to complete the two circuit boxes on either, si either side of the room. So first head over here. You can search all of these tables. Right. So by here if you want to kill the victim you can hit this button to release him from his cell. You can reach the circuit box however you, you will have to kill him. If you're having serious trouble getting used to the combat system, then head through this wall instead. You don't have to fight anyone this way, but it takes slightly longer. Either way you um, go, uh, you will end up in the same room. So if you chose to kill the guy, when you come out the other side of his cell, you will come out in this room. So you will find the circuit box by here. As you can see, they are getting pretty big now. This is the biggest size circuit box in the game. Like I said before in Oswald's Trap, I don't really have any advice to give you for these circuit boxes. The layout is random every time.
I suppose if you're lucky you might get the layout that I have right now but there's pretty small chance of that so I suppose you could just start from the edges like I said before and that's pretty much the only advice I could give you so once you've done it you'll have to complete the other one so I'm going to show you what happens if you decide to take this path so just hit the button to release this him from his cell and kill him then you can just walk through his cell but like I said before if you are having trouble with the combat just squeeze through the gap in the wall inside here is a desk which you can search and a fuse box which activates the electric puddle which you could have used against the victim so this room is filled with poisonous gas the first thing you're going to want to do is find the valve so quickly search every locker in the room until you find the valve once you found the valve head over to this gate and pick lock it once you've done that head through it and you will be able to reach the pipe so complete the pipe puzzle You might want to heal after that. So once you shut off the poisonous gas, head over here. And there will be a circuit box to complete. Once you've done that, the door will open, so head inside here. And search the locker for the coupler. So this is the second and final circuit box you will have to complete to unlock the exit door. Like I said before, the layout is random every time, and there's a really small chance you will get the same circuit box I have right now. So once you've done that circuit box, the door will open. If you want to, you can take the scalpel from this skier box. But you probably don't have enough time to do it unless you're really good at the circuit boxes. So with the second circuit box complete, head back through this room. And turn right over here. So just walk to the end of the hallway and leave the room. So turn right then go up these stairs. To your left by here will be a cassette tape to listen to. You are getting close. The path to your understanding will be twisted, like your understanding of what I do. The man ahead has traveled this path already. Let us see if you can walk a while in his shoes. When the cassette tape finishes, the door will open. So throw the frozen hand into the furnace and it will leave behind the key so use the key to unlock the gate and you will trigger a cutscene is anyone out there hello 